if you're somebody who loves new goals and you, you know, you're very excited about travel and this and that, great. But do you have to layer in 50 things and then you're sitting around at home and you're wondering why you're so bored when you're back home and why life is so depressing and you need more travel, more stimulation? In every domain of life, we see whether or not it's food or exercise or stimulants or sex or media. If you push things to the max, you're going to feel depleted and understimulated afterwards. And this trough below baseline, as Anna Lemke taught us with Dopamine Nation, that trough is a state that can last a long time. And it's how long? It's proportional to how high that peak in dopamine was. Not how long, but how high that peak in dopamine was. And when you're in that trough, that dopamine depleted state, typically what people do is they try and go out or access things that are going to reactivate the dopamine circuitry. And all it does is drive them further and further and longer and longer into that trough. What's needed is a period of waiting, of non-indulgence in any of these excesses that allows them to return to baseline. We know this from drugs of abuse. It takes more and more drug to try and get what turns out to be less and less of a high. Most all addiction, most all compulsive behavior can be cured essentially through a period of abstinence lasting somewhere between 30 and 60 days, which to somebody who's highly motivated to seek that thing or do that thing, sounds like a, an absolute horror, but that is highly effective. So for some people it's work and stimulants, you know, a number of people taking Adderall and work, 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 work. I hear from these people all the time. Typically they are from the tech and finance world. And they're like, why am I burnt out? Well, you've been blasting these catecholamine regulated circuits for years. You need to just accept you're gonna feel a little low for a week. Then you're gonna feel a little less low and you're gonna come back to baseline. And then, and only then can you really get back into like full forward center of mass. But at that point, you can introduce, you know, I, I do think there is a clinical use case for certain ADHD meds, which are amphetamine. There are certain people that need those meds. Other people have driven themselves into this dopamine trough. And so they're seeking out anything and everything to get them out of that trough when really what they need to do is stay away from all that stuff and just wait, just 